Hello my dudes, dudettes, and everything in between. Welcome back to Clive Games. Uh, we are here in Limsa Lomensa. I went ahead and got right to where we need to go to um, continue on with our Arcana story. And as I told you um, in the la at the end of the last episode, we are going to be working our damnedest to unlock the two jobs. So let's get started because I really want to start them. Uh, oh yeah, I have to dance for her because the guild master will know that I don't Because it's so important. Don't get me wrong. We want to help her out of a depressing state, but I mean come on I doubt me dancing will help. You were always one for dancing. I don't recall any such pra- Ah, uh, you met with our guild master, haven't you? Yep, that would explain your odd behavior he does so enjoy seeing people perform unexpected acts of frivolity. What? But what could have spurred our re reticent guildmaster to speak with you in person? Well... Here's a book! He gave you this grimoire to give to me? Uncanny! It is identical to the tome I received the first time I ever met our... That didn't... If you go back and you look when we actually got the tome... From the guildmaster, it doesn't look anything like the black grimoire we managed to wrestle from the quirkin during the um, bridge battle. You have my thanks, Clive. The guildmaster is fond of games and mischief, and I understand the trouble, tri the tr troublesome trials he likely put you through before deeming you worthy of his attention. With this gift, however, his message to me is abundantly clear. I am to shape reality into the one I desire. And that means defeating Dos Mega. Gods, my mind is alive again with strategies. I must have time to think. Pray and form Mr. Thorbergram of my return to duty. I will do that. Well, she's out of her little um, broken state, it seems. All she needed was a new book. It sounds like every other bookworm I know. Uh, wrong way. Like, I like to read. I've, I haven't been reading a lot as of these past couple of years, because I just working and then I enjoy gaming a lot more than reading because then I can actually interact with the story not because the books are bad trust me I actually have a small shelf of books that I really like reading um but video game stories I can actually interact and I'm a part of stuff like that especially Bioware games Bioware games are my niche I love those stories Kalia has recovered from her despondency this is wonderful news, and we have you to thank for it. It is unfortunate, however, that both Kalia and our guildmaster are possessed of such impenetrable personalities. But at least in the case of the Forseer, we have an inkling as to the nature of the cage that imprisons her. I continue to hope that her partnership with you shall gradually pry those bars apart. Return to your training, Clive, and prepare yourself for the demanding tactics Kalia is sure to formulate in the days ahead. I don't gotta say it like that. I don't think anything better. No, okay. The level 30. Acting Guildmaster Thurbergrim has instru instructions for you from Forseer Kalia. I've been expecting you, Clive. As ever, Kalia's predictions have proved accurate almost down to the moment, and her mind is especially sharp with such a dangerous confrontation in the offing. The Yellow Jackets have contacted us with word of Dos Mega. It appears his merchant vessel is presently anchored off the coast of Bloodshore. Once the pirate's business here is concluded, rumor has it that he intends to embark on an extended voyage to the Far East. It will be some time before he returns once more to Limsa Luminsa. If we pass up this opportunity, Kalia will lose her chance to settle the score with Dos Mega, and we risk the force here stumbling once more into bla to the blackest melancholy. Simply getting close enough to Dosmega will prove difficult. Kalia has, however, already formulated a solution, and has, her grand, has set her grand strategy into motion. 
Your first task is to undertake is to travel to Casa del Sol and deliver this set of directions to a fisherman by the name of Resrin. More instructions will be forthcoming. Okay. We haven't traveled to Casa del Sol yet because that's a level 30 area. And yes, um, we haven't gotten to level 30 in the story missions, um, but because the next dungeon allows us to use job skills, I want to go ahead and unlock um, the jobs themselves. So I can go ahead and actually start healing for you guys, like which is my main goal. Other than the story, you know. But I want y'all to, you know, laud over my healing skills, non-existent as they are. But, yeah, we gotta help her get to Dosmeko. We gotta make sure she can put that slaving scum in the ground. Really deep. Heck, and if she doesn't, make her nose, I will. up my dude what is it you want lad as you can see I have my hands full with me fishing uh, thanks for that I, I've been told to expect you here you're to take one of me earrings and deliver it to the cook of Bologna okay I swear she's this is ah this is some idiotic way for her to create this grand plan of getting to this mega. It could have we could literally just find out where he is and store him in place. And they're like, no, we wouldn't be able to survive. Yes, we would. I got some new skills. We could easily survive. Yeah, everyone else wouldn't, but I would. Yes. How might you? How might I help you? Master Gedru is expecting his supper any moment now. A fresh herring? Why, the master does enjoy a bit of broiled fish uh, of an evening. This might even earn me a few extra coins for this week's wages. Well, you have earned yourself one of my homemade eel pies. I should tell you though, your arcanist colleague was quite insistent that you take the pie to Master Gejeru rather than scoff it down yourself. Well, she can be as insistent as she wants. I'm hungry. I'm going to eat it. But unfortunately, no. We gotta go with her grand plan. Oh, ooh, you look like a very lazy potato. And what brings you to my... And I use the term facetiously. Humble abode, dear sir. Such a heavenly aroma. Are you perchance carrying an eel pie about your person? How commendable that you should research the delicacies that tickle my fancy before daring to intrude upon my most ponderous of ponderings. Speaking of ponderous, well, I was speaking of it at least, I have a hefty purse of guilt to persuade you to relinquish your claim to that pastry. Hmm, ooh, that's a conundrum. Money or food? One moment, if you will. I have been instructed by a Melvin's Gate assessor to hand over the message to whoever delivers an eel pie to Master Gedaru. Take the purse you received from Master Gegodru and hand it to the dancer, Elgis, as she prepares to return home. Woman, better not be wasting my time. Yes, if you're looking for a dancer, then I would first see your coin. I have three ch children to feed and no time to waste on idle chat. Oh my, that is quite a purse. My precious darlings will eat like kings this week. Well, rather than eating like kings for a week, maybe you could fill up their bellies at least for a whole, you know, two, three weeks. Just, just, just a thought. 
with such a simple job as well. I was told to expect you, you see. In return for the coin, I'm to give you these. The leather satchel is from your Makoto friend, and the pareo is from me. That last item you are to deliver to Drogo, the warehouse foreman. I love how they try to make this like. That's weird. Um. Like super like smart, analytical, thinking ahead, 12 7 in. No, this is just her running us around like an idiot. I ain't got time for the likes of you. If you don't get me working squared away soon, the mess will have you head on a pike. You got something for me, you say? Yeah, it's a book. Learn how to actually uh, talk, dumbass. Hey, now ain't this Edgar's Pareo? That Makoto last said something. Somebody bringing me a gift and I couldn't refuse. And stick me with a pitchfork if she weren't telling the god's own truth. Here, you're supposed to have this bottle of wine. Take it to the flying shark and pour a cup of the sailor to drink in there. That's what she told me to tell you, and he wrote, I'd be watching me back if I was you, though, son. Them sailors are the meanest bunch of cutthroats I'd ever seen. There was a mission or something in another game, I don't remember what it was, where it was something just like this. Where in order to get this item, you had to go get this item, 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 and boom, 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 all the way back. This is exactly what it reminds me of. I don't know the game, and it's going to bug me until I actually remember it. That's all for you straight men and lesbians. You want me to waste your wine, huh? Well now, I ain't want to pass a free grog. A pirate with a stick. I can't help but him going thinking of him going like Jack Sparrow. I got a stick, I got a stick, I got a stick, and guess what it does? The man's teeth. Now that's a bloody fine drop. If we ship this stuff to the east. We'll be selling bottles by the crate. You come with us back to the Morning Star. The captain will have to have a word with you. And once again, we get to be in the presence of Lucifer Morning Star. There's a good lad. And as for you, Miss Dancer, you stick close to all his crap. It gets damn cold on them long sea voyages. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, it's exactly who you think it is. We'll talk later. You don't have to. I get what you're doing. You're trying to infiltrate the ship by posing as a... Um, dancer. You had me infiltrate the ship by bringing them wine that I could have easily just gone and bought. Instead of doing this whole back and forth, back and forth, back and forth shit. But here we go. The level 30 instance of fight. You're ready then. We'll be off as soon as the boat's loaded. Ah, fine grog and a fine woman. The captain will be pleased with this haul. Pray do not stare so. This was the most expedient method of gaining access to the ship. Mm -hmm. Sure it was. I will take the satchel from you now. You may have it back after I take the items I need. You can keep it. I don't think there was anything in there. Now, what message are you two about? I was merely borrowing some clothes. 
You wouldn't wish me to catch a chill from this brisk ocean air, would you? You'll be dancing yourself warm once we get on the ship, lass. Men, I swear. Better slip off that ratty rope where you meet the captain. Of course, of course. That's a full blown anime like kick reveal. I'll be happy to show him the performance that awaits. Bitch, Admiral's lapdog! Come back for that lesson, Abby. It is I who will be teaching this day. My lecture will focus on the manipulation of reality through applied strategy. Oh my god, be dramatic, why don't you? Oh, you- What? Whoa, what? Whoa, what? Enough of this damn yaffin. By the time I'm done with you, you'll remember who your real master is. This girl gets so cool! And what spell is that? I want that spell! with the healing. Maybe up to half health is fine, but dear God, you do not have the capacity to heal yourself full. in health to full health in one ability. You rabid little cur. Our numbers, numbers matter not. It is strategy that will win this battle. Prepare yourself, Dosmega. With your defeat, will I cast off the shackles you closed on my soul. You think so, huh? Think your fancy magics are a match for my blade? You've got another thing coming. We know for a fact we're gonna win. Unless for some stupid reason. I that was a piss poor. Oh, 
Ooh, that Fesser hit hard. Heck yeah! He wasn't so bad. That was a lot less stressful than last time we were on the Morning Star. Because Mega now faces defeat. He will flee to the starboard rail. Obvious. Next comes the attempt to escape into the sea. You think you're pulling me strings, do you? Think I'll dance to your tune? Well, I ain't falling for your bloody tricks. <laughs> it is at this moment he knows it is the Yellow Jackets I had you summon in my explicit instructions to Relzerin. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, the Fisher was the ye uh, Yellow Jacket. You're a fool to return, Dos Mega. I hear you fond of shackles, so we brought a set specially for you. This concludes today's lecture. Thank you, Clive. This strategy would not have succeeded without your flawless execution. Which suggests that my tactics yet require more work. One must allow for some small deviation in performance. I believe, however, that I now understand where my calculations went awry. It is not odd enough to wish to shape reality, but one must also have a complete understanding of the reality one wishes to obtain. It is time I sought out our guildmaster. Be ready for some dancing if you do. She just dive into the ocean with her new book. Pray convey to Mistress Thurbergai my fondest wishes and my appreciation for all that she has done for me. My true test of strategies now begins. Good luck, girl. That's a sweet ending to the Arcana story. to the Arcanist Guild. Yep, go back to Limsa Lomisa. Clive, there is much I would ask you, but first, may I have the statue you received during your assignment? Oh, I'm so glad I didn't throw that over the side of the railing. May I have the leather statue you received during your assignment? The original owner needs her costume back, you see. I'll make sure everything is returned safe and sound. Now, let us speak of Kalia. 
I am glad to know that she finally freed herself to pursue her heart's desire, and you are to thank for awakening the Force of Years through her self-imposed fetters. The brilliance of Kalia's strategy served to bind her to her own feeling, to blind her to her own feelings, and it pained me to see her suffer so. Your example may even encourage Kalia to improve her combat abilities, though such will surely come in time. After all, she intends to study under the Guildmaster's direct instruction. Imagine those two obsessive arcanists and the complexity of the tactics they will develop. It may very well be that your actions in bringing them together will prove the catalyst that sparks a new era of invention in the art of Arcanema. You two should, be, should look to the improvement of your discipline if you are to keep pace with all that is certain to follow. To that end, I offer you a new technique, one that allows you to affect a wide swath of the battlefield and drain the life force of your foes. All right, we get bang. So basically, this spreads are at two dots to everyone near the enemy, but it has a 60% less potency, which is a little bad in my personal opinion. But uh, that might be better. That's not. That might. We're gonna do that because I want to get rid of this dress finally. Bane. Alrighty, nice. I'm gonna put Bane right up here. That's so I know it's directly correlated to the two uh, dots. Alright. Austries of Flame. Acting Guildmaster Thurgheim has news of a task which might interest you. Greetings, Clive. It is well for you to have come, for we have an intriguing matter to discuss. A request has come to our guild from the Scions of Saint, from the Sons of Saint Conan, an organization of some of the finest minds of Eorzea, and they have asked for you by name. It appears that the research of the Scion of the Sons are currently conducted would benefit from the assistance of an Arcanist, specifically one who's had the tempering experience of defeating the Primal Ifrit. Though I must admit to some curiosity as to how these scholars knew the extent of your heroic exploits, because I'm famous, oh, I suppose the source of their knowledge is of little relevance. If you would answer this request, then you will find your contact a researcher by the name of Yamitra at Apkalu Apkal Falls in the nation of Gridania. Alright, so that's the summoner. Mary has knowledge of an intriguing opportunity. Hmm, Clive, have you any interest in history? No. If so, I would share with you an opportunity to study the ways of the ancients. A curiously refined and well-read marauder visited the guild the other day in the hopes he might meet an arcanist of exceptional skill. He claims that the assistance of one such individual would be invaluable for the success of his archaeological research. I say claims because despite his eloquence, the thought of a marauder with academic ambitions still strikes me as odd. You are of course free to formulate your own opinions. His name is Akazaka, and he can be found in the Marauder Guild should curiosity overwhelm you. She's that annoying girl who literally when we started the Arcanes was like, well are you going to join us or are you kind of like scared to actually think? And now. Oh, a marauder who actually has some kind of like scholarly pursuits? Fuck you, bitch. But we're gonna start with this one. Alka Zolka. You might remember from the number of times we went back and forth in here. Thank you for setting aside your preconceptions, Clive. I am ac I'm an acutely aware of how unusual it is for a marauder to conduct research, as it were. There's different types. Some conduct with their brains, some conduct with axes. Tomato, tomato. However, you shall soon understand that I am not at all like my more muscular brethren. Rather than rush blindly into an enemy's maw, I would formulate and execute stratagems to great effect. My archaeological pursuits are but an extension of this practice. For at present, I am researching the military tactics of ancient Nim. Twould not surprise me if you were unfamiliar with Nim, 
civilization flourished some 15 odd centuries ago during the 5th Astral Era. That's a long time ago. The Nemeans lived during an age of wonders, when the magical arts flourished, but magics can be wielded for, for weal or for woe. What is weal? And this period of peace eventually gave way to the Great War of the Magi. The nations of that bygone era brought earth-shattering magics to bear against one another, yet Nemea had only a handful of mages to support its army of mariners. Repulsed would be invaders time and time again. Precisely how a military force of this composition could defy its stronger neighbors is a mystery which has long puzzled military historians. By translating ex ex extant Nemean tablets, which I have recently purchased, I mean to solve the riddle at long last. As my knowledge of Arcanima is cursory at best, I require an experienced Arcanist to assist me with the analysis of any text pertaining to the magical arts. Will you be that Arcanist, Clyde? Sure, I don't know ancient languages, but sure, I'll give it a go. There is, however, a complication. The Nemean tablets and other assorted relics for which I paid an exceedingly large amount of money were stolen en route to Lemsa Lemensa. The information inscribed in those tablets could be of untold significance. I will not allow thieves to sell it to some rich Uldan collector for a penance. Pray accompany me to the rich the Raincatcher Gully Dogs and help me reclaim my relic. I have strong reason to believe the perpetrators can be found there. Alrighty, so I'm going to pause it right here. So I can fast travel there technically for you guys. Okie dokie, and here we are finally. Uh, we had to go back here to um, Costa del Sol and take this ferry. Um, but here we go, it's going to be another uh, mini instance fight, so here we go. I say that a lot, I know. As I suspected, they are not more than broken men who have seized the docks and taken a robbing every passing ship. Come, let us put an end to their banditry and take back what is ours. Yeah! Alrighty. And I'm going to show you, I get to show you Bane while we're here. It's like a cloudy burst. Uh, the real reason you use it is so you can go ahead and get the dots on everyone. Yeah, they're not as powerful as you when you put them directly on because of the 60% uh, loss in hooks, but not really that big of a deal. It's a huge um, mana saver and time saver whenever you have groups of three or more. Which is usually the case in um, dungeons. Search for the tablet. Maybe this shiny thing? Yes! Yes! This is it! A treatise on the Nemean military tactics, just as I had hoped. Cool, I'm glad you got your tablet. Ooh. That's a fairy. That's a tiny woman with wings. Hello there. <laughs> Alka looks like me. Hmm. Seem friendly enough. Mayhap the tablet can explain this. 
Scholars, familiars, fairies. The sunlight of Eos doth soothe and shield. The moonlight of Selene doth silence and strengthen. Clive. By the twelve. You have any idea what this means? We have d rediscovered the long lost magic arts of the Nemean scholars! Cool. Cool, I guess. Fairies, honest to God's fairies. Well, now I have seen everything. Anyway, I shall return to the guild and begin translating the tablet. I cannot wait to see what other secrets it contains. I guess I'll meet you there. Funnily enough, this is the number one place you come to get the scholar missions, it's the Marauders Guild. Alright, excellent timing Clive, I have just finished transcribing a section which will doubtless be of interest to you. According to the tablet, the crystal which from which the fairy sprang forth is called the Soul of the Scholar, and it contains the wisdom of those long dead Nemean mages. With it, you can call upon the fairies as you did before, and bind her to your will. As I said before, I have little knowledge of Arcanima, so unless you have some objections, I would like to entrust the crystal to you. Oh, and you needn't recompense me. Simply knowing that the lost arts are being preserved is enough. I shall devote my energies to deciphering the remaining text. Should I discover anything new, I promise that you will be the first to know. Alrighty. Scholar unlocked. The fairy is awoken by the soul of the scholar. Alright, so jobs are more powerful uh, versions of your class. Um, in order to unlock them, you have to equip the crystal, the soul crystal. Um, before I do that, Arcanus. I'm going to create the Arcanus class because I'm going to use the Arcanus class to unlock the Summoner. Um, but I'll do that. I'll activate both the Scholar and Summoner abilities class to show you everything all at once in the next episode. Unfortunately, I ran out of time. I know I tried really hard. But the first thing we're going to do in the next episode is unlock the Summoner class. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.